بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو سال خان یوٹیوب چینل ویئر وی آر ڈسکسنگ دی ڈائی ریزسٹنس لیولس فار دا لاسٹ کپل آف ویڈیوز ان وچ ٹو ڈے رائٹ ناؤ وی سی دا تھرڈ وچ از دا فائنل اینڈ دیٹ از دی ایوریج اے سی ریزسٹنس ایوریج اے سی ریزسٹنس آف اے ڈائی so this has got some writing involved so basically the concept is short so that's why I did not write it from the beginning so that we could just prolong the video a little bit anyways so well where is the blue pin so the blue mark okay here it is so when the input voltage is large it produces a broad swing in the characteristics and the resistance in this region is known as average AC resistance you have it in your book but let me write it down when the uh, input voltage is large it produces a broad swing in the characteristics broad swing in the characteristics shortcut uh, Uh, and the resistance in this region is known as average AC resistance and the resistance in this region is known as average AC resistance what do we mean what do we mean so the VI characteristics again So I hope you have understood the VI characteristics. This is very important. We are using it again and again. This is whatever VB. When the input voltage is large, it produces a broad swing in the characteristics. Broad swing means what? A larger change. A larger change. So have a look. If we consider these two points for a very small change in the voltage, as this is now a higher voltage relatively, we have a very high change of value of current. This is called the broad swing and the characteristics that we will study in this range uh, the, the resistance that we will see in this particular range is called the average AC resistance. Fine? Yes. So let me write the definition as well. The average AC resistance is the resistance determined by a straight line. Uh, okay, once again I will write it down. The average AC resistance is the resistance determined by a straight line drawn between the two intersections obtained excuse the writing this is already present in the book by the maximum and minimum values of input voltage and I hope it is clear I hope it is clear our average I would write a change of voltage divided by change to current but what point to point so basically what we do is we would take a, a, a minimum value of a voltage at one level we'll take a maximum value of a voltage at another level a straight line this is what do you have you have the corresponding values you have the corresponding values what do you do the change of voltage divided by change of current gives you the average AC resistance the input applied would be a time varying it would be an AC signal 
but as we did in the AC between two points so this is not between any two finite points that was between two any point over here any over here anyone over here this is the average of all the points lying in between the AC right the average of the AC values lying or lying of all the point lying in between the two points in between what two points in between the maximum point and the minimum point whereas the simple AC resistance that we saw in the previous video could be of between at any point so we could consider any two points somewhere on the graph but over here what's the difference the difference is that over here we we'll consider a relative maximum and a minimum values is that clear it is let's see if we have something in the book is uh, so the, the the same definitions are given so let's say if we consider the figure we are given a figure where this point is shown to be uh, 0.725 and 0.625 this one is 0.725 let's say this one is 0.65 so these are the two voltages and the corresponding currents that are shown are 2 milliampere and 17 milliampere so this is a 17 if this is in milliampere this is in volts and this is 2 so if you are asked to calculate the average AC resistance of the graph what do you have determining the average AC resistance between the, five, the given limit so you are given the limit so what do you do for the change take the ratio so what do you have the average AC resistance change of voltage is 0.725 minus 0 0.65 and divided by 17 milli minus 2 milli so what you get is the final value I'm writing over here it is 5 ohms it is a 5 ohms is that fine now what do this 5 ohms mean what do this 5 ohms mean what is the significance so the significance is that if you calculate the AC resistance uh, if you calculate the AC resistance R A C at what at the current value equal to at VD equal to so we are given 0.65 if you calculate it at VD equal to 0.65 which means at the corresponding current of 2 milliamps so let's say I write VD equal to 0.65 so over here the value would come out to be something greater than 5 ohms you know how to calculate the AC average resistance from the previous video not average the, the, the simple AC resistance the dynamic resistance and similarly if you calculate the AC resistance at the other value where VD is 0.725 this would be something less than 5 ohms so the meaning of this average AC resistance is that this is the average of all the points lying in between these two limits that is 2 and 17 is that okay it is so that is it about it that is it about it so the average AC resistance that is this 5 ohm is the average of all the points lying in between the two finite limits that are given and over here the limits are 2 milliampere and 17 milliampere in terms of current and in voltage you have 0.65 and 0.725 if the AC resistance determined at ID is 2 milliampere will be greater it will be less in this okay uh, an average AC resistance from 2 milliampere to 17 the fact one is so the thing is that the fact that one resistance level can be used for such a wide range of characteristics will prove quite useful in the definition of equivalent circuits as with the DC and AC resistances the lower the level of currents used to determine the average resistance the higher is the resistance level you know this
I could have <laughs> done this in the previous video. I wanted to do it separately. Anyways, I'm sorry if I have disturbed you with this shorter video, but some people say shorter are fine, some say longer are fine. You know, like let me tell you that some people will say about make it uh, about 10 minutes, right? But some people would suggest making it a 40 45 minutes video. You know, uh, like if I give you an example, they would say to, to do all the resistance levels is in a single video. So, what do you say for that? <coughs> so, uh, this, your suggestions are always welcome in the comment box. Anyways, that's all about the resistance levels. You have any question? The comment is for you guys. The comment box is for you guys. Yes? So, you need to do me a favor as well. You need to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I finished this one over here. I hope it is clear. You know, the AC resistance is at a single point. You take a finite uh, step ahead, a finite step uh, below that point, and 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 what? You calculate the change and you you do it. Over here, what is the thing? You take up, you take the upper limit, the maximum limit. You take the lower limit, the minimum one and you take it in between the two limits which are maximum and minimum not any arbitrary limits that's the difference so i finish this one over here see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves everyone around you do subscribe to the channel do remember me in your prayers goodbye